Hi everyone, I'm Lorenzo and in this video I'm going to talk about all these Gaia games for the Sony PSP. The first one, this Gaia Hour of Darkness, is a port of the 2003 PS2 game with the same name. The gameplay has a lot of depth, but what is nice about the game is that if you're that type of hasty gamer that just wants to jump into battles, you can do that too. But if you do actually get into the details, the options have a lot of depth. You can upgrade everything at Lahar's castle, and there you can buy new stuff from merchants, you can heal your characters and do other upgrades. And the more you interact there, the better the items you buy, and the better you get healed. Basically the game rewards you for doing extra stuff. It rewards you for looking what merchants got, it even rewards you for getting wounded as you get bonuses when you get back to the hospital if you're highly damaged. Also the battles have a lot of depth too. An IGN reviewer counted that you get over 120 different classes in the game. Also during combat, even the panels you move your characters on have effects, meaning that it can boost your attack or damage you or affect you in other ways. And you can even modify the panels and build a strategy to change some sick combo attacks. Also over the great gameplay you get a story that has a lot of humor. And not only humor, but the game has also ad hoc multiplayer too, so you can play matches with a friend. And you don't get just the story of the original PS2 title. But on the PSP you get besides the original story, another story arc, the Etna mode which is tougher and shows an what if scenario on what if Etna took control. This Gia 2 Dark Hero Days is a port of the 2006 PS2 game. The game is similar to the previous one. There are slight changes, but overall it's the same very tough but rewarding experience from the last game. The game includes the story from the original title plus extra storylines. You get Axel's story, which has its own hub, world, dark assembly, item world, and story missions. Also the magic change feature from this Gaia 3 on PS3 had also been included in Dark Hero Days on the PSP, giving players the option to change monster allies into weapons. This Gaia Infinite isn't a turn-based strategy game like the other ones. I will put it in the detective games category even if it doesn't really fit there either. So what you do in the game is that you control a preny and you need to find out what happened. And if you're like me, even after you finish the game, even if the game tells you that you found the answer, you will still be as confused as before starting your adventure. What you do in the game is that your preny has the ability of possessing people and to tra time travel. So you travel between timelines and possess people so that you can alter the future. You can make Edna flirt or turn the dialogues around to get good humorous moments and since you get to choose what characters say, you can alter the story. There are 13 different endings. It's an interesting title that if you're a fan of this Gaia and like the stories from the franchise, you can try it. Or if you like graphic novels where you can change the story as you wish, then try it too. Or if you're into stuff with demons and talking penguin demons and a story that has humor, then try it. Oh, and I want to remind you to always enjoy your games. This Gaia, the first two games, can get pretty tough. If it gets you angry or even violent, let the game be. There are plenty of titles you can play and enjoy. You don't need negativity in your life. Play games to feel awesome, not frustrated. Okay, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. And if you want, follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. I left the links to those in the video description. Also, if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and there will be thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching!